take a look at GFAL. I've had a few people asking about it, so I'm going to take a, a quick look at it here. All right, uh, it's on the daily. Way back here, you can see massive uh, a lot of volume back through here. Looked like a big dump when it first launched. Probably, uh, you know, uh, I hate to say it, but investors trying to get some money back here after pumped after launch. But, uh, geez, they should have held on because, uh, you know, if that's what happened here, but there's an awful lot of red right there, which is kind of crazy. Usually people hold on, especially after launch, uh, especially after something like this. This thing's got high hopes. Uh, GFAL crypto price prediction, $1. GFAL uh, is gaining momentum as investors' interest increase in the project's Game for a Living was launched in March with high ambitions. Many analysts have high hopes for GFA Lcoin due to its working products and strong team. Uh, there has been a decrease in demand for Web3 gaming tokens in the last 18 months. Many projects that were trading at insanely high valuations in 2021 are in a slump right now. That's not a slump, it's a bear market. The high token emissions are diluting the market cap for the holders. GFL Crypto is one of the latest play to earn projects in this space with a very low market cap. What is GFAL? The project has a lot of similarities to Gala. The team intends to develop a layer one blockchain for games for a smooth and swift onboarding of the gamers. Uh, according to the project's official website, the GFAL ecosystem currently consists of four different blockchain games. These games are Elemental Raiders, Diamond Dreams, Jump, Pump, and Soccer Legends. Due to the rapid development of the ecosystem, GFAL Crypto is currently almost up 400% uh, from its pre-sale price of 0.004. That's not a 4x. Uh, might have a lot of gas in the tank left. There's been a steady increase in the holders since its launch. The crypto currently boasts more than 7,000 holders on uh, Binance Smart Chain. This shows that crypto enthusiasts are accumulating the token anticipating a bullish price. Uh, down here it says, uh, with a total supply of 10 million coins, $1 price target seems to be a bit unrealistic. Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, 10 billion. 10 billion is not a huge number. Uh, it is a huge number number, but as far as tokens and reaching a dollar, no, it's not. That's not true at all. Uh, look at XRP. Look at Cardano. Uh, right now, the 10 billion is uh, Polygon's uh, maximum uh, token supply. So 10 billion is... Uh, is not for a dollar target is not unrealistic at all i don't agree with that uh the crypto bubbles not a whole lot going on out there um let's get over this chart but uh all right this is on the daily okay you can see as long as it follows this blue trend line all right it is in an uptrend it can come you know higher highs higher lows um you know kind of went sideways through this area right in here right in here in between these yellow lines that go sideways there probably build momentum for this breakout here it wasn't volume because you look down here the volume is uh extremely low really all the volume came in back here all right if we want the uh let's look at the daily rsi uh 196 getting pretty high I would, this thing is going to have to do a back test. Don't buy big green candles, guys. Not a very good idea. 12 hour, uh, 193. Getting pretty high down here. It's at an 85 on a regular RSI. The 8 hour, same deal. 100 and 100. The 4 hour, at a 94 and a 96. It's flipped bearish. And does it have a weekly? Uh, the weekly is actually heading up 65 to 38. It does have a weekly, just barely, but it does. All right, so uh, let's take a look at a couple things here. Got all kinds of waves in this thing, all right? Um, I would be looking, the breakout happened here at the 0 0.0199. That's the breakout point. I would be looking for a back test of that. Let's go out to four hour. There is no resistance uh, or no... Uh, areas above that okay between here and there so i would be looking for this thing 
personally, in my opinion, I would be looking for a retest here at some point. Okay, um, you got this big blast up. Usually, you get a retest and it a bounce. All right, so these RSIs get pretty high. They could uh, they could definitely pull it back down here to this uh, um, to this breakout area. That's what I would be looking for personally. Um, so. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look here in a couple days guys first day covering this chart really I looked at it a couple months ago but um, I just quickly put it on here I'd be looking for a retest to the 0 .0199 area if I was going to get in on this thing that's where me personally I would be buying alright so, right, guys thank you very much I will cover this again in a couple days have a great day everybody